Hi, it's Bonita from Bees Resale Hub coming to you with another video. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how I do my inventory and shipping for eBay. Um, basically, I have a bunch of clear bins in my storage area, probably about 40, 50 bins out there. And they're labeled starting with A1 through A9, B1 through B9, and so on. I'm all the way up through F9 now. Um, well, some of the letters are missing. I think I don't, I think I only have three C bins and two D bins. So there's, the, <laughs> like I somehow skipped over some numbers. I don't know how I did that. I think I was just growing too fast and not keeping track and being lazy to figure out where I left off. So then I was just starting off like, oh, I know I don't have any E, so I'll just <laughs> start with the letter E. I'm just crazy like that sometimes. But all of the bins, all of the clothing bins have clothing, all of the shoe bins have footwear. So I don't mix up, um, you know, shoes and clothes together. But I do mix the types of items um, and the gender. So if you go into bin A1, you're probably going to find some men's shirts, some lady shirts, some, you know, sweaters, uh, some jackets, some jeans. There's all kinds of stuff in there. And I was having to, when I sell an item, I was having to manually keep track of the space in each bin. And that was causing a nightmare for me. Um, and it was taking up so much time and I was getting overwhelmed with stacks of inventory in my house because I was too overwhelmed to go out there and figure out which bins had space and then to manually keep track of it. It just was taking too much time. So about a month and a half ago or a month ago, I came up with this uh, tweak to my inventory system. I went to the dollar store, to Dollar Tree, and I bought some clothespins. I think I bought about 10 packs of clothespins because between my two eBay pages I have around 700 items. And so I pulled one at a time. I brought Ben into the house and I took a bunch of clothespins and I wrote the bin number. Okay. I don't think you're going to be able to see it. I wrote the bin number on bunch of clothespins and then I clipped a clothespin to each item in that bin right so um, and then I have all of these cups I got these at the dollar store as well I got this basket and all of these little cups at the dollar store and I labeled them so this is a shirt cup um, this is for regular sweaters that are slightly chunky this is for thin sweaters things like cardigans and shrugs usually women's because you know women's sweaters can be really thin bigger than a shirt but not quite a sweater um, and I have a lot of those in inventory big jackets and super chunky sweaters jeans and big shorts and then I have an overflow bin because sometimes I sell a lot of jeans in a day and they can't all fit all the clothespins can't fit in here so I put them in this leftover cup um, you know, which I know that probably doesn't make any sense. I'm, I need to go buy some more of these. I think I'm going to go buy another basket and six more of these little cups because my inventory is really growing. So basically what I do is when I go to list items, all of these cups have some clothespins in them. So let's say I'm going to list some jeans, okay? There are six jeans clothespins in here. So what I'll do is I'll list all, list as many jeans as I have, but then when I run out of pins, I know that I don't have any more space in my current inventory system and it has to expand. So then I will go buy another bin, um, usually from Target. I get them from Target when they're on sale or Walmart has them as well, the, the exact same ones. They're 56 quart Sterilite clear bins. Um, and they're usually about $4.99. I think that's the regular price at Walmart, but I don't like the lids at Walmart that they have. So the same bin, but they have different lids. And their lids, the ones that they have at Walmart don't stay, they don't snap on as well as the ones at Target. So 
I get mine from Target when they're on sale for $4.99 each. And then I'll start with the next letter. And I think I'm on G's. So the next bin that I get is going to be G1 or C4. So I can start using the C's again. <laughs> so, um, and that's how I keep track of inventory and how much space I have available in each bin that's in my garage. Now, when it comes to the item selling, um, oh, when I list those items, I put that, that bin number in the custom label SKU field. And I also, just out of force of habit, I put it in the description field as well. I like to put it in two different places just as a fail-safe. Um, but I put it in the custom label SKU field. And then when someone buys those items or I have a bunch of items to ship, I print my shipping page. And this is what that looks like. Okay, I blacked out the uh, email addresses of the customers for privacy. But what you'll see here is the items and the bin number, the corresponding bin number. Now I rewrote the number bigger because I wear glasses. I'm supposed to wear bifocals, but I refuse. So um, I have to write it bigger so I can see it. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm in denial. I don't care what you say. I'm going to stay in denial about how old I am and that I can't see until I feel like being out of denial, okay? I can see good enough to drive. I passed the, the eye test at the DMV on my birthday with flying colors. I can see. I just can't see these, this tiny little typing, right? So I have to rewrite it so that when I go out in the garage, I'm not going, oh, God, I can't see that little letter, okay? You know, <laughs> so um, I just look at it. I can see it clearly. I pull that bin and then I look for that item, pull it out, stick it in my IKEA bag. I bring it in the house. Um, the first item was a pair of jeans and it was bin F6. So what I did was I took the clothespin off. I took this to my shipping station. I took the clothespin off and I stuck it in the jeans cup. Okay. And then it, this, the cycle continues. That way it's a pretty mindless way of keeping track of what's available the space that's available in each bin, okay? And then it helps me to get things done faster. Now, this custom label SKU field, you can customize your screen for this to show up wherever you want it to show up, okay? When you pull up that screen in the right, towards the upper corner, there is a customize link. And if you click that link, you'll see all the different um, fields that you can show on your screen. And I customize mine so that that custom label SKU field is the third field. And it shows up when I print this and I take this out. Now if you're not selling a lot of items on eBay, then this probably is going to just be too much work for you. But if you want to expand and you're selling 10, 20 items a day, sometimes I have 20 items to ship. And to click on that description field, it was just taking up too much time. Um, this has been a lifesaver. It's saved me so much time. My organization is so much better. When I um, go to list new items, um, let's say I'm listing a shirt. I go to my shirt cup. I pull out a clip. I put that bin number in the custom label SKU field. And then I take this clip and I clip it to the item. Then once I'm done listing, I fold the item up, I put it in a bag, and I take it out to the inventory system with this still clipped to it. Okay, um, So that when I go find the item, I can take that clip off and put it back in the shirt cup. I hope that makes sense. Does it make sense? hope it makes sense. Um, but that's how I keep track of my inventory. Um, you know, the mindless way to do it and go able, be able to grab things and ship them faster and to be able to list faster as well. Um, and like I said, when I run out of space, that's when I know. When I run out of clips, that's when I know I need to go buy another bin and start and write the bin number on that and start clipping clothespins to those and then once that's full I take it out and stick it in my uh, 
I think I have about three or four spots left for bins on my shelves out there. So I'll take it and I'll stick it in a spot on the shelf. Um, when I run out of shelving space, I got to go buy another shelf and then start putting bins on there. So, um, but I'm trying to make sure that I maximize the space that I have and uh, be able to keep track of everything. And so it's been kind of awesome for the last month. I'm able to get things done a lot faster. So um, it may or may not work for you. I just wanted to share how I do it so that maybe it can inspire you to come up with your own inventory system and something that works for you. Um, hopefully it helps you a little bit though. Um, so like, comment, subscribe to my video. And I'm probably going to do another video tomorrow because tomorrow's Saturday and it's the 50% off day at the Goodwill um, outlet near me. On weekends, Saturdays and Sundays, they do 50% off. Mine is not a way and pay. It is flat fee. So all of the clothing is a dollar each. All of the jeans are $2 each. Shoes are $2. Purses are $2. Accessories are a dollar. But on Saturdays and Sundays, that's half. Uh, coats and other outerwear is three dollars. So on Saturdays and Sundays, it's a dollar fifty. Um, so I like to go on Saturdays. Sometimes I go on Saturdays and Sundays. This week I'm probably doing both days because it's fourth quarter, and um, you know I'm starting to sell. Today was a slow day actually. I'm starting to sell between ten and twenty items a day, and so I'm having to have some difficulty keeping up with uh, the demand. So I'm probably going to go Saturday and Sunday this week um, to get more inventory and list. So, um, but any questions, uh, let me know and I'll see you guys tomorrow.